Is unemployment legit or not? Yeah. That's our next topic. That's our next topic. Since you just went into it for me. Is unemployment legit or not? <laughs> yeah, because you say men can get a job, men can work, and I'm telling you, some people got laid off, some people apply, um, and they're they're not getting calls back. But you're like, oh, you can go work at fast food. You'll be fine. Yeah, you're not getting the call back that you want. You're not getting the call back that you want, but you yeah. can survive with you and your three kids. And I mean, your girl with it, it, twelve dollars an hour. Let me let me not let me not be blind to like you know people who have mm-hmm. felonies or sexual abuse charges or anything like that. Let yeah. me not be blind to that. Outside of that, if you're an able-bodied man mm-hmm. and you just don't want to work somewhere because it'll make you look different. That's all you. What if it's not enough money to provide? You need to step. You need to lower your standards. What is not enough money? I know women out here who who are making bare minimal and raising a son, raising a family, and doing doing what they can. So why can't he? He can get an OnlyFans. He ready to go go fish, <laughs> go move some stuff, go, go clean fish. a go clean a house. Uh, I don't I don't know, but it's a lot thing a lot of things that there's a lot of jobs that hire you because you're a man. Yeah. That's just the 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 facts. Yeah. You know, so I understand understand when women are like, you know, men are paid more than us and sometimes I think that's well deserved. Right. Other times I just feel like it's you know, it should be equal. Listen though. Last year, um, the virus hit, and you know what I do for a living? I interview, I hire people all day, and um, I met every day eight to ten people, so probably about 50 people a week, uh, 40 to 50 people a week came in, hey, I need a job, I don't care what it is, um, but how many people applied that week? Probably 300, so what about the other 250 that I didn't get to? Well, um, I just didn't get to him. I, I only have so much time, but that happens consistently. They can't get a job. They're on unemployment. Eventually, that unemployment runs out. Um, that extra money they were getting for unemployment, that's done now. And so they're like, what do I do? But you're telling me, if you're a man, you can go. Um, have y'all stopped hiring? No. So y'all always hire? Always. That's my point. Because people don't stay at these jobs. They usually quit them because they feel like this ain't the job for them. They're not making enough or, yeah. you know, they don't like what they do. So it's always a job out here. Mm-hmm. It's based, It's basically based on whether you want to continue that job, want to work doing what you're doing, or you feel like you deserve more or deserve better. And I'm not mad at those people that feel like that. But I just also feel like that if you can work, why are you on unemployment unless you feel like that free check is what you want? Yeah. So you, you know, yeah, sometimes I, I think about it and I'm like, if you just had some drive, it doesn't matter if your job sucks. You have a job, you're getting paid, go and do it until something better comes along. But don't quit or intentionally get fired or get COVID and have the employer, you know, lay you off. Now you're on unemployment and you're making very little because I think it's only like 400 a week now. Since they took that extra, they about to bump it up though. What? Yeah, I'm getting on like unemployment then. That's how I felt because a lot because you know during COVID a lot of people was receiving nine hundred dollar checks every week, huh? Every week, big balling. Eighteen hundred two weeks. I couldn't do that. Thirty six. I can't go on a month. But uh, that's more than some people make at a regular job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more than most jobs I hire for, honestly. And so I can see why you would want to say, why would I work? I got time. But eventually, you're going to be in a spot where your unemployment runs out. Um, And I think unemployment is good for some people if they get laid off, if you use it for, you know, one to four weeks. If it's an emergency. Let's say it's an emergency. Yeah. You know, you just got laid off. You live in paycheck to paycheck. And you just need something to hold you over until you're able to start a new job. That's it. I understand that. So they should put a limit on this unemployment. It cannot be. But they do because they make you check in every week. They make you uh, say the places that you've been to. Uh-huh. A lot of people lie. Yeah. I'm going to just be honest. A lot of people lie and say that they've been to this, that, and So then they the need to have some more stricter or put in the application. verification standards to make sure that these people are doing so. this. 
because uh, I know some people, they just come and talk with me in an interview um, just to say they did, but they don't follow up. I offer them a job. I don't hear from them. And they probably tell the unemployment office, well, I went and interviewed there. And, yeah, they did, but then they disappeared. So I get, I had a job for them. Um, I, I don't know. I've been working since I was 14. I just think unemployment should be cut off at, like, eight weeks. If you can't find a job in two months, then that's on you. Two months. <laughs> 12, 12 weeks tops. But people are unemployed for eight or nine months. Yeah. Yeah, you can find a job next day. Everyone is hiring. People are on Facebook Marketplace handing out jobs. Warehouse, uh, Sometimes Amazon, you ain't even got to leave hiring. the house to get a job. You too. Yeah. Twitch. If you've got a video game, you can play a video game I mean, and get subscribers and get paid off of YouTube and, and views and yeah. merchandise. You so can go rob a store. You can do anything to get some money. No, I'm not condoning that. You're not condoning that? No. But it is an option. No, I'm just not. putting the options You're out You're going to go to jail. <laughs> if you get caught, you will. If you don't, you made some money. Yeah, you're going to go to jail. <laughs> I knew that. Especially if you're black. You're going to go to jail. You might get shot. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> you might get shot if you're white. You might get shot and do 30 years in jail for robbing a store. If you get caught. If you're white, you might get a probation <laughs> in eight, eight months on probation. So. He, he didn't mean it. He's sorry, Judge. He's sorry. Um, we don't no, want to mess up his future. I don't think <laughs> unemployment is... Um, uh, regulated right, I think there needs to be stricter um, guidelines or follow-ups from the state to say, hey, this person did apply, they did get rejected, they need to talk to the employers. But you can't be on an unemployment for eight or nine months. That's just too long. That's just laziness. That's just saying, hey. I never want to hear a white person say that they want unemployment. Why? Because black people are slaves for 100 Shut years the and they work up. for free. <laughs> you ain't get out there and do something. I'm just saying, being honest. Listen, man. If a white person come up to me and tell me that they're unemployed, uh, I'll be like, okay. No, that's not forward progress. Forward progress is let us learn from the past, make the future better by those lessons we learned you know from what the I past. Learned? But you can't. I learned if black people can work for free, so can white people. <laughs> that's what I learned. <laughs> Uh, white people feel like they work for free when they work a minimum wage. That's why the minimum wage is about to go up. Oh, man. Yeah, in Kansas City, it's 1030. Three years ago, it was 715. Seven, yeah. yeah. Now it's 1030. And two years it's from about now, to be 15. it's going to be, yeah, it's going to keep going up. And then people are going to be like, why is this gallon of milk $10? Well, because you wanted a higher pay rate. But that's another subject. Anyway, uh, I don't think unemployment is good. I think it shows it. it endorses laziness especially if you can be on unemployment for months at a time so mm. if you lose your job in an emergency fine um the state's going to help you out but you have to get a job you have to have your own drive and be motivated to move forward by yourself i'm different i think uh it's it's all it's for a limited time um it's not something you should live off of it's not something that you should depend on you should be out there uh looking for a job every day you should be out there working to find something every day. I believe it's in case of emergencies, in case you get fired, uh, you should be able to file unemployment. Yeah, crackheads like suck dick for Coke, so you can do something for $20, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no comment? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, uh, like, share, subscribe. Let us know if there's anything you want us to talk about. We've been on this mug for about an hour. Uh, that's about about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Yeah, it's not been too long. Anyway, uh, check out this Indago, Snoop Dogg's new gin. Um said gin and juice. Yeah, uh, put juice mixing. in it. You don't yeah. want it alone because it's not, not good. But uh, anyway, like, share, subscribe. We out. Peace.